Hey, everybody, it's Ed. Welcome to part four of Ed Opens Records. And the reason I do these videos, just to reiterate, is because I've been finding that a lot of the times when I am buying new vinyl, I get home and I open it up, a lot of the times it's no problems. But quite a few times, more than I'd like to count, I get some problems where there's either defects in the vinyl or markings or staining or warping, just an assortment of issues. So I started a series of videos. This is the fourth uh, in the series, and this is the first time I'm actually opening an Elvis album. And what I am opening today is from Elvis in Memphis. This is a music on vinyl release that I wasn't even aware of. I did not know this existed. I knew of uh, Speaker's Corner, which I have talked about in the past, which is one of the reasons also that I started doing these videos. But the Speaker's Corner version of this, I bought, oh God, I want to say close to 12 years, if not longer, uh, ago, and was extremely disappointed because when I opened it, it had a huge defect within the first two tracks on the first side. And it definitely affected the play. And so the only thing I really could play were the rest of the songs and then side two. But the problem was it popped, it skipped. It was it was a nightmare. So that was my one and only experience with Speaker's Corner and um, and other albums that I have had, you know, problems with. But, you know, like I mentioned before, like the warping and everything else. All right, so without further ado, I thought we would do a opening of this. Now, the thing with these is uh, they come in basically a poly bag, and it's sealed up top. So I haven't broken the seal yet, so let's do it. Let's open it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so this, again, is music on final release, and this was released in 2011, which it says right on the bottom here. Hopefully you can see it. I am sorry for the crappy glare. All right, but it does say originally released 1969 Sony Music Entertainment. This release, 2011 Sony Music Entertainment, manufactured and distributed by Music on Vinyl BV for Sony Music Entertainment, made in the EU. All right, and the catalog number is MOV LP 367. All right, so this has been opened. Let's pull it out. I like the little hype sticker. That's cool. All right. Very nice, faithful reproduction of the actual covers. I never understood why they used such an older picture on the back cover. Should have used something contemporaneous from the time. All right, so we have a plain white sleeve. We have the original RCA label, RCA Victor label, side one, side two. Very similar. There are some minor differences that I'm picking up on, of course. It does say music on vinyl on the bottom, so. All right, now remember, this was actually released in 2011. The fact that I was able to actually order it still, I was, I was surprised, but went into my record store and asked him if he can get it, and he told me he could. It was still in stock, and it came in, so here we go. All right, so upon inspection, When I checked there, it did not appear to be warped, which is good. And oh my God, side two looks amazing. A few specks of dust, but like I don't see any smudging. Anything. This is beautiful vinyl. All right, so far so good. Let's see what side one looks like. Holy oh, shit, looks the same. A few specks of dust. Looks amazing. Holy cow. Yeah, look at this. All right, I think we have a winner. I think I finally got a home run. First in the series, maybe? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. I think the Rush one was, was, was pretty good, but this one looks immaculate. All right, so I will be putting this on the turntable and checking it out. And, wow, I am super impressed with this. Seriously, a couple of specks of dust, but other than that, it looks amazing. Oh, 
yeah. All right, so this is going to go right on the turntable. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll be back later. Maybe I'll come on live. We'll see. All right. Figure it out. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. If you like, leave a comment. All that good stuff. As always, everybody, please be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And take care.